according to sort and array okay, the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to load some values from a text file into my array so I declared an array size of 4 and I'm going to load from a text file and I'm, go I'm going to put everything into my array so I'm going to populate my array with values from a text file okay, so I'm going to load these values which is unsorted into my array And, and then I'm going to display it in a rich edit and when I click on the sort button I'm going to clear the rich edit and I'm going to display the sorted array in the rich edit okay the coding to sort an array is the first thing is you must set make a variable set it to the maximum amount of your array so mine is four so you will set yours to four then you need two four loops um, so I declared the variable k and l k and l basically what's going to happen here uh, is going to start off by 1 and then it's going to compare all I'm going to take the first one the 500 and it's going to go through all the values and check whether which one is the smallest and if it finds that one of the values is smaller than the smallest current one is going to swap them around and this is the three steps to swap the values around okay so let's say this one to swap this one around with uh, the value on top okay. so what will happen is it will basic take, basically take the smallest one put it somewhere in the temporary variable then it's going to take it and it's going to take put the 5000 and swap it 5000 and it's going to put it in the position of the smallest one then it's going to copy the or take the value that was in S temp or R temp in this example and put it into the smallest value there and then it will go out of this for loop it will go to uh, k will become 2 and it will search for the second smallest value if there's somewhere if there's another value that's smaller it will swap around with the three steps again but in this case the 2000 is the smallest and then it will k will become 3 and then it's going to check which, which number th is the third biggest so 4000 is uh, smaller than um, 5000 is going to go put the 4500 into our temp somewhere and then it's going to take the 5000 put it in there and then it's going to put the 4500 in there in the third position okay, that's the three steps to swap the values around the minus one is because we don't want to take the last one and compare it to something else okay so when it reaches the last one the, we assume that it will be the biggest value because all the other values were smaller that's why they swapped around okay so that's the coding to swap the values or to sort your array okay to um, okay, the k plus one is because is there because you don't want to compare the two values go back too quickly you don't want to compare the 5000 with the 5000 itself so you always want to compare to the next value and then the next one and then the next one so that's why it's k plus one okay, and you can actually study this coding out of your head and then when they ask you to sort something you can just type it down save some time and sort it if you want to sort something from big to small you just change it around smaller than and bigger than sign um, you can also sort strings so like names or something and it will sort it alphabetically for you okay so the only thing that you must remember is if the the array type is string then your then your R temp or your temporary variable must be a string as well. Okay, my array is a real 
so the temporary value that I put it into is also a real otherwise you'll have to do some conversions in the steps to swap the values around 